Hey guys, Bodie here. This is part three in the Bam Bam Calls. This guy is not very bright, but he was persistent, which of course is a common trait of PCH scammers. Let's get into it. Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Anthony Fisher. I am with the Internal Revenue Service. I got a notification from your bank that you have made two large withdrawals and I'm calling to verify some information with you. Yes, do you yeah. have, like, Do you have time to speak? Yes, I do, yeah. What was the nature of those deposits? Uh, they were personal matters. They were personal matters. So you will be filing taxes on those. Is that oh, correct? Yes, oh yeah. Based on the information that I'm seeing here, you're supposed to be receiving a large quantity of funds. Is that the reason why you withdraw that money? Oh, as I said, it's personal. I am I am actually in charge of the tax information. If I don't con clarify or confirm the information with you, we can garnish your wage legitimate, see to your home or bank account for unpaid taxes. So I have to verify all the information. Oh, don't, with don't worry. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'll keep everything on the up and up. I'm I'm a law-abiding citizen, always. I need to ask you a few questions. Are you able to go ahead? Well, it depends if I want to answer them or not. Well, based on the information I got here, I was contacted by the local sheriff's department along with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, which is the FBI. They were contacting me about this Mr. Bigelow guy that is asking you to withdraw the money. Someone from your bank notified us about the transaction, and based on what I am seeing here, you have withdrawn well over ninety thousand dollars from your account already. Yes, yeah, that's my own that, business, though. That is a fraudulent transaction. That is fraud. That's, that's not fraud. Money. That's I. I did it. That's money laundering. That's not money laundering. Yes. Do you know the person who you're sending the money to? Yes. Do you know the person personally? It's my, my nephew. It is your nephew. So if I check with your credit report and I pull up your family history here, I will see a Mr. Bigelow on your report. Not Mr. Not Mr. Bigelow. I didn't send no. money any money to Mr. Bigelow. Listen, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a, a criminal. So I don't know why you're trying to even uh, trying to even do this at all. I see that you made you. Who was the person who you made the check out to? You made the check out to a female character. Yes, yeah. On two numerous occasions. So I'm looking at Lola's Lola, that's the information that I am seeing here. And I can actually cancel those checks on my end here and I can put your account on hold for investigation. Why would you do that? Because I am trying to get down to the bottom of exactly what is going on, but you're refusing to provide valid information to me to show me exactly why or why is the reason you are sending this money out. Well, I'll just have to find you and keep You're threatening a, a, a law-abiding citizen? You're, you're threatening a federal official? You can take that as a threat if you want. I didn't say anything threatening. You said that you want to find me, find me and kill me. I Remember didn't that say this that. Call been, this call has been recorded for, mod and for quality and training purposes, so it's all up to you. I didn't agree to it being recorded. It's been recorded by our entity here. Every call has been recorded and monitored here. So I don't whatever want, I don't want to be it, recorded. Well, do you know that I can take you to court for what you just said? And I would really have to I'm glad you said it a second time. Why? I'm definitely glad you said that a second time. So Why? it's definitely on recording here. Then it's don't record it. Here. I said not to record it. It is on recorded. I made but, sure that I record what you said when you threatened me. So if anything so you can't to record me, it after I told you not to record it. I said don't record it. It's an so obligation now I'm, here. No 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 I'm, no, I'm It is an obligation here. Yeah, it's so just it's gonna be an obligation to kill you now. Hello? Hello. Hello? How are you? Who are you? I said how are you doing? And who are you? I'm Bomb Bomb Bigelow. You're what? I'm Bomb Bomb Bigelow. Bam Bam Bigelow? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. How are you doing? I'm not doing bad. Okay. Mr. Stevenson you... keeps calling me. Hmm? Mr. Stevenson keeps calling me. Okay. And what happened? He wanted me to send, did... to send the money uh, somewhere else. So where did he tell you to send the money? There was uh, some uh, uh, Earl guy. Well, so there was a, 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 a Josie guy, too. That, that's what it was, Josie. Who? Uh, Josie. So listen, where did he make you go today? 
Yeah, that was today. So what did you do today? What's that? What did you do today? Oh, I went and I sent I sent it uh, to the right spot. So how much did you send today? Well, you said uh, 50,000, right? Yes, and but I was giving you... Remember when I called you? Uh, right? Yes, but you called back and you gave me the, the one that goes out to uh, Bell, California. So you write out a check today. So how much money do you have in your account now? I don't think I have anything in there right now. So did you write out a cashier's check today? Yes. And that was the total of 50000 right? Yes. And who did you send it to? Uh, to the uh, Josie, uh, Josie Alexis. I don't know how to pronounce that. Casalalas in California. Okay, okay, I got you. So how much cash do you have now? I'm, I'm waiting for my winning now. So how much cash do you have in your bank now? I don't think I have anything. I have to deposit yes. the, the forty. I have a forty thousand uh, dollar cashier's check that I need to put back into my bank. So what did the bank tell you? Tell you this morning when you were writing the check? Did they say anything to you? No. So do you have any cash in your home right now? Why do you keep asking if I have cash? Yes, because we want you to write a cashier's check. This morning I was making you write the cashier's check, and you may trade turn you around and write the cashier's check. I don't know what you're talking about. I sent the, the, my fees to the right place. Now, you, you can stop bothering me and I'm going to wait till my winnings come in. Thank you. Uh, hello? Hello? Miss, hello? How are you? Woogie Woogly. Hello? Who's this? Hello? It's Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, it's Bam Bam Bigelow. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! How are you? I'm, I'm doing all right. Okay, I was talking to you today, and you cut me off. What happened? I don't know what happened. You hang up the phone because I was talking to you, and you were I'm um, asking you a question, and you didn't answer. Well, I mean, you were. I don't know why we were talking anymore. Pardon me? I don't know why we were talking anymore. Okay, so did Trey call you back? Did what? Did Trey call you back? I don't know what you're talking about. Who's Trey? Who, who you said call you today? You're confusing me. I'm sorry. I don't. Hello. Hello. Yes, you're confusing me. I'm saying who called you today? That I'm asking. I don't know who called me today. So who you write out the check for? Who called you to write the check? I put all the checks back into my into my bank. Pardon me. I put all of the checks back into my bank. You didn't write out no check today? I did, yeah. Yeah, but what happened? But did you just hear what I said, dipshit? I said I put it back into my damn bank. So why are you calling me a dipshit? Because you're an idiot and you're not following along with what I'm saying. Okay, I understand. So what we're going to have you do tomorrow is write out a check, okay? Okay? Hello? Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. I said I'm going to... I'm going to call you early it tomorrow. It says you, you, you are as good of a conversationalist as the guy I picked up hitchhiking last week. <laughs> Do you have a music preference, perhaps? <laughs> Here, let me pick something for us. He was, oh my goodness. What you were saying with him? He give you a headache? Hello? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Listen, listen. Are you tired now? Yes. So what I'm going to have, and I'm going to call you and have you do it tomorrow. How much cash do you have in the bank? None of your business. 
Pardon me? None of your business. So you could write out a check tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna call you early tomorrow and have you write a check tomorrow, okay? Alright. So just answer the phone tomorrow, okay? Alright. Alright, okay. Okay. Talk to you tomorrow, okay? Yes. Hello, hello? 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 Yes, it's Bum Bum Bigelow. I was seeing you calling me this morning. Yes, I thought I missed okay. a call. Pardon me? I thought I missed a call. Okay, so are you ready to go to write a check this morning? Yes, yeah. Are you ready? Put on your clothes already? I'm already ready. I'm ready to go now. Okay, take the information that I'm going to give you, okay? Alright, I got a paper. Alright. Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. Okay, so you're going to write it out to Lou. Tell me what you have. Yes, I'm going to look in the information to see if it's correct, okay? Yes, all right. Stay on the line. Don't hang up, okay? Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes? Why did you hang up? I don't wait on hold like that. Okay, no problem. All right. So, you said you have Lulu. Okay. So, you're going to write out it to Lulu. Oh, you're going to send off the cashier's check. Right through the mail. Yes. You're going to... What are you going to... You're going to do an overnight express and give me the... The, the number, okay, mm. the mailing number, okay? Yeah. So you know the total that you should write out to her, right? Yeah. How much? I don't know. That should be 40000 All right. God, so you're going to go on now. Pardon me? I said, God, you're greedy. Pardon me? I said, wow, you're greedy. Why you said that? Well, that's a lot of money to take from somebody. Well, that 40000 is going to reimburse that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hello? Hello? Yes, it's going to reimburse that. That is why. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay? You're a despicable human. What do you say I'm despicable? You're despicable. So what you can do, write out the check? I could, yeah. You just write out the check so we could have everything been taken care of. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to send okay. a, a scamming, thieving, lying bastard like you money? My money? No. What? So do you think I'm going to send a lying, thieving bastard money like you? Why are you calling me lying and bastard? Uh, hello? Hello? Yeah, sweetie, you're home now? Yes, yeah, hello? Okay, did you get the... Did you get the card? Did I get the what? Did you get the vanilla card? What vanilla cards? I didn't I tell you to pick up four one vanilla cards each of 500 at the CVS? Oh, what? I didn't... Know. Didn't I tell you... I told you to pick up their cards at the CVS. When did you say that? Yes, I did. You didn't remember. I don't remember, no. All right, can you run and get them right now? No, I can't right now. Why? What's wrong? Because I can't go out anywhere right now. You're not feeling well? No, I got COVID. Oh my god. Alright, do you know your balance at the bank right now? Well, uh, it should be 90,000. 90,000. Yes. So, do you get back the other checkers yet? Yes, I put them back into the... Both of them? Yeah. You put both checks back in your account? The yes. That's about a $50,000 check. Yeah, I put it back in. You didn't send it to the... You didn't send it? No, no. No, okay. All right, so you're saying you can't leave tomorrow, later on, no time? Uh, no, not for at least a week. I can't go anywhere. Oh, my God. You have your checkbook there, though, right? Hmm. You no, I don't. There. I don't have a checkbook. You don't have your checkbook. I don't have a checkbook. Of course you do. No, I don't. I you had to get. Personal. I had to get checks from from the bank to write a check. So didn't you get any checks from the bank? I already wrote that check though, and it's that check's gone. How much was the check for? 
Or that was for. That was. Uh, yeah, that uh, wasn't even. I don't know. I don't have a uh, checkbook though. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna have to try and see how we're gonna work this out though, because I thought you'd have remembered the four cards today. So you're saying, so I guess we're going to have to put this off for some time then, right? Yes, I think so. Those guys stop calling you? Hmm? Hello? Yes? Did those guys stop calling you? Yeah. What, what was the name of him again? The one that was calling you? Uh, Mr. Bigelow. What was his first name? What was his first name? It was Mr. Bigelow. Yes, and what was his first name? You don't remember? I don't know. You don't know? And do you know who you're speaking to now? I don't really care. Why? Why don't you care? Because I know that you're just a scammer. And who told you that? My intelligence did. And who is her intelligence? And my, who's my intelligence? Me. You dipshit. <laughs> no, ma'am. Um, you got it all wrong. No, I don't. Mr. You're, you're in Jamaica. Scammer. You're in Jamaica. Who told you're a you scammer. That? I know you are. So, and Mr. Bigelow is? He's in Jamaica, too. You're both and in Jamaica. He scammed you. Mr. Bigelow is the one who scammed you. And you're a scammer, too. You tried to. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Don't be... I'm not stupid, okay? The jig is up. You're not getting any vanilla cards. That's... that's... that is a, a red flag right there. Asking for gift cards. Oh, my goodness. All right. You have a good day. <laughs> and you have a horrible day. I hope your your chickens come in and peck your eyes out. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Not too bad. Who is this? Is Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, Bam Bam. Yes. Hello. How are you doing? Um, um, I was calling you. I was calling you Saturday, but was not getting you. What happened? I don't. I I was out for a little while on Saturday. Oh, okay. You went on the road. Yes, yeah. And what was you on the road for? I was just trying to find uh, pieces to a puzzle. Oh, okay. So what the what the plans for today? Uh, I need to find the rest of those pieces. Oh, so you're doing puzzles today, so you're not going on the road today? Uh, I need to... I, th I think there's probably... I don't know where the pieces could be. They c might be out on the road somewhere. Okay, no problem. I was talking to you... But I need to get... I want to get some pizza for lunch. Pizzas? Pizza. I want some pizza for lunch. Oh, I don't want it to be down. too hot, though, because last time I burnt the roof of my mouth. It's not very... It's not very fun, because the... Then, then my tea, it doesn't taste the same. Yeah, so what you need to do is buy it and carry it home and let it cool a little. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I so always want to just to... get right into it right at the, right at the pizzeria yeah. and then I, then I burn my mouth. And... Okay, so what is happening now, sweetheart? I was talking to you Friday evening about what you should do and you end up... And end then up the minister home. came over. For? What? What the minister come over for? I told him that I was going to be donating some money, so I, I came over and I wrote them a check. Okay. So you're going to be able to write the check today? The what? You're going to be able to write the check today? What check? I already wrote the Isn't check it? for the church. Yes, but remember, the other day we were speaking on the check that it should arrive so you could have your prize been delivered. Wasn't the prize already coming? That's why I wrote yes, the check. But, yes, but you have a prize that you should receive of a forty million dollars, and uh, we're setting up updates. I sent. I I wrote a check for seventy thousand for the church, for then for the roof. Okay. So what is happening here? We need you to write a check. Remember, I give you the information for Lola. You don't remember? Yes, I I I, I do. Where is that piece of paper? 
I don't know. You don't know where you put the paper? I don't. I'm trying to find it. All right. I think I have it here. All right. Repeat what's on the paper. That's the... Yes. So that is the mailing address that is going to happen. So what we need to do is to write out the and check today. I have a today. phone number. Oh. Repeat, um, repeat the number that you have. Hold on. Repeat the number. Six. Six. Yeah. Oh, cross, cross out that number. You have... Yes, yeah. P yeah. Okay, so cross the... Have one? No. No, my number is... You're not to put number on it. So you think you could be able to write a check today? Oh, only if I could... Yeah, I could do that. Okay. So I'm going to give you my office number. So when you write the check, you give me back a call up my number, okay? Pardon? What do you need the number for? So that way I can make sure the transaction goes through. What are you going to do? Call her? Or the bank might. Okay. So well, I'm going to give you the number, okay? All right. So what is happening is you're going to do uh, overnight express, okay? All right. And what is the total you could write for the cashier's check? I only have, there's only 20000 left in my bank. 20000 So you're going to write out a cashier's check for 18000 okay? 18 Yes. All right. So my office number that you're going to call me on is 587. Yeah. You have that? Yeah. 800. Yes. 2657. All right. Do you repeat that? It's five eight seven eight zero zero two six five seven. But if I don't talk to uh, Lula today, I'm not sending anything. So. Pardon? I need to contact Lula. Okay. You wanna you wanna talk? I'm gonna transfer the call. Okay. No, thank you. I, I don't want to deal Pardon? with you anymore. I don't believe you anymore. I don't Why know you what, don't what believe kind of you? game you're playing? Because I don't believe uh, Lula is a real person. I'm gonna give you provide the number. No, you're not. You're yes, I am. You're gonna give me a fake number to some one of your friends. No. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. No, I'm not gonna give you a fake number. You're gonna talk to Lula. Well, okay? what's your number? And I'm I'll call give you her. The you're not gonna do that, though, are you? You're not gonna give me your number. I'm gonna give you the number. The number is nine. Yeah. Can you repeat what you have? I doubt that's her number. Pardon? I doubt that's her number. That's her number. That's her number. Well, we'll see. If okay. We'll see. I'll have them have the uh, post office call them to make sure that they're... They're getting a mail at that P.O. box. I don't trust P.O. boxes. P.O. boxes are... It's an anonymous thing. It can be anonymous. Okay, she only get mail at the P.O. box. That is why she give us those information. Okay? Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That is the only information that she has for getting mail. Okay? All right. What are you going to do now? Well, I have to go to the bank now. Okay, so when you get back, you call me at my five... Eight seven number. Yes. How long right. you think that? How long you think that will be taken? It'll probably take about an hour. All right. So you you're moving out right now, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go now. All right. So call me when you reach back, okay? All right. And remember to get the check-in number and it's the overnight express, okay? All right. All right. Well, there it is, folks. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not already. Then hit the bell and share. And until the next one, vote out. You have been invaded by...